What's up fellow toy lovers? I'm super excited for the Black Panther movie and in celebration of that I got myself the Eric Killmonger Slash and Strike figure by Hasbro. Now he is a Target only exclusive so if you want him that's where you find him. But anyways he's a really cool looking figure and I can't wait to open him so let's get this review started. Here's a better look at the front of the package. Here's one side, and the other side with the cool glam shot. Here's a top. Here's a back with some more glam shots and some cool action there. And here's the bottom with the UPC. And there he is, guys, standing at a whopping 13 inches tall. Starting with the head here, we got a super awesome sculpt. It has sculpted details that go all the way around. The paint does as well, unlike the rest of the figure, which I will get to in a bit. Now, there's some interesting text written on the side of his head here. I think it's supposed to be Wakandian, but it kind of looks Korean. Now, the eyes themselves are actually painted gold, but they're surrounded by a clear, transparent plastic, which light up when you activate the sounds. Bow before me. And they still look pretty good when the lights are off, so that's pretty well designed. Now moving on down to the torso, we get some more rad details. You get this cool tire tread pattern, which is present throughout the entire body. And you also get these cool little cheetah spots painted all over too. But it's only on the front, as you can see, because the back is just plain. Honestly, for 30 bucks, I want to paint it back. Now the back has a battery cover, which holds a single AA battery, which is included with purchase. Now he doesn't have an on-off switch, so pulling the battery is the only way to shut him up. Moving back to the front, you have the speaker holes down here, and the button for the phrases up here. Now the gold of his neck piece goes all the way around, thankfully, but these white teeth marks are only on the front. But the front does light up when you activate the sounds. Killmonger is your new king. Now looking at his arm, you see the tread pattern continues all the way around, but this cheetah pattern only goes up to his elbow. You get gold paint on the claws though. Now moving on down to the hips, you get more tread pattern and cheetah paint. He has cool gold accents right up here, but the cheetah paint ends at the knee and there's nothing on the back. You get a cool boot sculpt though, so that's nice. That kind of makes up for it, not really. Hey look, gold paint. Now the head rotates about 170 degrees in each direction, but it does not go 360 degrees. Now the arm does spin 360 degrees and has a single joint so that you can lift it just like that, but it has no elbow joint. The hand does spin 360 degrees though. Now the waist does pivot in both directions, but not by much. Here's a back view. And that's all the articulation he has. There's no leg articulation whatsoever. All right, now let's go and go through the sounds. He has four phrases that are activated by this button right here. Bow before me. Killmonger is your new king. Face me in combat. Black Panther, I will defeat you. And then you get the slashing sounds when you twist the torso here. Now the instruction manual said that you get extra sounds when you tap them, but that didn't work for me. But then I figured out you have to first activate him by pressing the button or twisting the torso, and then he makes sounds when you smack him. Now the package says he has 20 plus sound effects and phrases. I don't know how they counted that, but it sure don't seem like 20 to me. Now he comes with one accessory and that's this blade thingy. It's unpainted and pretty plain. It's pretty bendy though, and it's kind of detailed. It doesn't fit very well though. All right, now let's go and do some size comparisons. Here he is next to Thor from Thor Ragnarok and Cyclops here. And here's my unopened Legends Killmonger. Not sure if I'll do a review on him yet. Overall guys, he's a really cool looking figure. I just really wish they would have painted the back and extended the paint beyond the elbows and knees because you can clearly see in these screenshots from the trailer that the details do continue past the elbows and knees. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, if you could drop a like, I would totally appreciate that. And maybe, you know, think about subscribing too while you're at it. Hey. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.